All right. So the other question now is saying, show that the change in elastic potential energy of the spring is 0.077 joules. Now, how do you find the elastic potential energy? So the elastic potential energy, the elastic potential energy, PE, is given by 1 over 2 kx squared, where k is the spring constant, x is the expansion. So if I say change in elastic potential energy, what I mean is I'm going to have a change in the in the extension like that. So a change in the extension which can be written as 1 over 2k the final extension squared minus the initial extension squared. So clearly as you can see from the diagram we have from the figures given we have three figures so you have figure one and figure two between figure one and figure two that's where you are going to have the initial extension so the initial extension is going to be found between uh, diagram one and diagram two so considering diagram one and diagram two we are going to have the final length to be 16 which is here the initial to be 14.2, which is there. When you subtract, you're going to have 2.1 centimeters, of which this is nothing but uh, 0 0.021 millimeters. Okay? Then, between diagram 1 and diagram 3, that's where you're going to have the final extension. So, the final extension is going to be found by considering figure 1 and figure 3. So according to these two figures, you have 17.8 uh, centimeters as your final length. Initial length still uh, becomes 14.2 centimeters. So 17.8 minus 14.2, you are getting 3.6 centimeters, which is just 0 0.036 meters. Now, why is it that we're considering diagram 1 and these other diagrams? So, initially, this diagram here doesn't have anything on it. The spring doesn't have anything on it. So, this is considered to be uh, a spring which is in its natural strength or natural, having its natural length. And then, diagram 2 has a mass hanging onto this spring. So, we are going to say since the length of the spring has changed from 14.2 to 16.3 this is going to be the initial this is the first extension that happened then the second extension that happened quite right we're considering this to be the reference frame okay because this is the natural length of the spring and then the final extension is when we have an additional force because this is where the extension now is z 17.8 so going back to the formula we know that the change the change in elastic potential energy is given by this formula of which we know that our k when you punch in this k in newton per meter you are going to get 1.8 so this is multiplied by 1.8 times 10 to the power 2 okay then multiply by the final extension is 0 0.036 squared minus initial extension is 0 0.021 squared so when you punch in that you definitely get 0 0.077 joules hence shown okay so that is how you find the change in elastic potential energy all right the other question is saying, determine the work done by the force F. Determine the work done by the force F. So, directly, the work done by the force F can be found by saying, the change in the elastic potential energy minus the change in the gravitational potential energy. Okay? This is how you find the work done by the force F. 
Now, you can ask yourself this question. Why are we doing this? Why are we saying the change between the elastic, the change in elastic potential energy and the gravitational potential energy? Clearly, diagram 2 only has a mass on it. So the only work that we have is the work done by the spring on this mass. Diagram 3 has got an additional force. So we have the work done by the spring and the work done by the force. So you're just getting this one and subtract the work done by the spring from that. That's why we are doing it. We are just directly using this formula. So the work done by the additional force, F, is given by change in elastic potential energy, which is 0 0.077 minus the change in gravitational potential energy, which I believe we punched, I think in part two, it was uh, 0 0.057, 0 0.057 joules. Okay, so here when you subtract, you're just going to get 0 0.020 joules as the work done by the additional force. That's it. All right, thank you for your time. Make sure that you go through your textbooks, you understand the concepts. You can always watch these videos after trying out to solve the questions and making sure that you've understood the concept because not everything is explained but i would be trying by all means to make everything as clear as possible all right thank you